All right, everybody, welcome back to SoCon 30's workshop. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to take apart a uh, AR-15, and we'll break it down to the simplest parts, and clean it a little bit, put it back together. All right, so this is one of my very old Bushmasters. Um, this is one of my very first ARs. So the first thing, like any any time we handle a firearm, we're going to drop the magazine, uh, charge the bolt to the rear. We're gonna inspect it, make sure that there's no brass, no ammo. All right, uh, we're good. And just set this off to the side. All right, so for those of you that are unfamiliar with an AR-15 platform, uh, this is your upper receiver from here to here, lower receiver, buffer tube, stock, optic, forward grip. Uh, this is your charging handle. This is your safety selector switch. This is your bolt release. This is your bolt right here. So you'll pull the charging handle, pull the charging handle to the rear, and you can see that the bolts move in there. All right. So the easiest way to take this down, uh, and this is your forward assist. Right, the easiest way, well, the way to take this down, are your two takedown pins here and here. All right. And you're gonna push straight through. These are pretty loose, so they're just gonna come right out. For the sake of ease, we're just going to do it like that. Okay. So this is your lower receiver. This is your upper receiver. And yes, I do have a suppressor on this. Um, I did battle paint it for those of you that are wondering. Um, and I actually learned from a guy online. And I don't remember who it was. Uh, but I can find that and I can post it in the comments if you guys are interested. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is you are going to pull the charging handle to the rear. And that is going to eject your bolt. Uh, you're just going to take your bolt out, take your charging handle out, set your upper receiver off to the side. And then for your lower receiver, if you want, you can take the buffer tube out or the buffer tube spring out. So in order to do that, you're going to have to depress this little pin. And oh, allow the tube. Allow the recoil spring and the uh, buffer recoil tube to come out. And I don't know where that went, so I have too much stuff down here. I'll, I will find it um, before the video is over. But okay, let's let's get back to this. Okay, so to take your bolt apart, uh, the first thing that you're going to do here is this tiny pin right here. You're gonna pull this out. And this is dirty because I did take it to the range. That's why I'm taking it apart. All right. So you're gonna pull this pin out. It's very tiny, as you can see. Um, so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this on a, uh, it's bothering me that I can't find that. I'm just gonna put this on a towel so I can see all these pieces here. Um, I like to use white towels so I can see all the black pieces. Okay. After that, you're going to push your actual bolt face down. It is going to drop your firing pin out straight from the bottom here. And then you are going to rotate this pin. It's going to fall out. And then you can take your bolt face apart. All right, so this is your bolt carrier group, and it's essentially into the uh, five pieces that it comes in. All right, so to clean this, you can use just your regular cleaning kit uh, that we've used for the pistols in the, in the past videos. Uh, and you can scrub this with any kind of wire brush. So well, let me show you how much grime is on here. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, buildup, a lot of carbon just on the firing pin. And this probably only shot... 500 ish rounds through it uh, a lot of carbon build up on the bolt and again only about 500 rounds and you can see just by my fingers how dirty they actually are okay and then the most difficult part to clean on an ar if you do not have uh, star chamber cleaners is the actual star chamber itself now this is going to be very difficult for you guys to see on this video i'm going to try to do my best here 
Um, actually, I'll get a little flashlight. Maybe that'll help. All right, so... That right there, that's the star chamber. And that is where the actual round gets put, placed into the barrel. And all the carbon comes right there. Um, so the inside of your upper receiver, uh, whenever the round is fired, obviously straight down the barrel. But it takes all of that carbon right there. So it is very difficult to clean. There's a lot of grooves. Uh, they make special star cl cluster uh, or star chamber cleaners. Uh, this is something that you could buy at like Ranger Joe's or I'm sure Amazon sells them too. But I actually don't have any with me. So I'll have to pick some up. I'll just clean it by hand. Okay. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to clean is actually going to be the lower receiver because this is the easiest thing to clean. So we're going to get this out of the way first. All right. So anything inside you're going to want to use a wire brush on. So, and I'm just going to scrub this down pretty good. So, this is my trigger assembly. I'm going to put it on fire. This is the trigger assembly right here. And I'm just going to scrub all this down with a wire brush. Get that carbon out. I'm going to get inside the magwell. And just make sure that my mag release button is nice and fun uh, functioning properly. pretty clean for the most part. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of hops and I'm just gonna drop a little bit in the trigger assembly here because uh, there's springs in there and I wanna keep them well oiled for the next time I shoot. And then let's just rub that on a little bit. And I'm gonna put a very tiny drop on each of the two takedown pins as well. And I'm just going to rub that over. All right, that way those are nice and lubed up too so they don't stick. All right. Um, like I said, I got to find uh, the recoil tube. I shot it, or I, I shot it out here. So... Let me find that real quick. There, there's no way it could have went that far. Uh, I got a bunch of garbage down here. So hopefully it's just hiding in one of these little nooks and crannies. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. So we're just going to scrape this off too. Get any carbon that's on there. rotate the spring a little bit any carbon that might be on the spring and unlike the 1911 the spring it um, on the AR-15 is tapered at both ends so there's no sharp end so it doesn't matter which way you put this spring in all right I'm gonna put a just a drop of hops in the inside of the buffer tube uh, and then one right there on that pin, just a tiny, tiny, tiny drop. All right. So in and then slide it right in. Lower receiver, lower receiver's all cleaned up. All right, and now we're gonna go on to, uh, I'm actually gonna do the top of the mag real quick. So. I know some guys don't, but I like to clean my mags too. Um, just keeps them functioning properly. And then give it a little drop of oil because it does have a spring in there. So, uh, all 
right. Any of that carbon that just came off. Okay. All right, now we're going to go on to the bolt carrier. And I'm going to just do a real quick run through because I have to get going. But you're going to clean everything that you can with this. And then you're going to get down into your dental tools and you're going to clean inside here with dental tools i mean you, you don't have to but you're gonna you're gonna eventually want to after you fire a couple hundred rounds through your ar these are cheap you can get them at walmart like 10 bucks uh, i'm sure they sell them on amazon too so all right so i'm going to start with uh the top of the bcg And I'm just gonna scrape this entire piece with a wire brush. Okay, now you can actually take uh, this piece of the bolt down further. You would, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it here, but this pin right here, you would actually push this through and it would pop this piece off. And you can clean down inside there. But it's really unnecessary. Uh, I only do that probably every 5,000 rounds. Um, and I'm not anywhere close to that right now. So you don't have to do it this. I'm not going to do it this time. Another place that carbon loves to build up is right here um, at the base of this. Uh, so that takes a little bit. Uh, I do like to use my dental tools on it. And then another thing that you can do is just get pipe cleaners and you can run a pipe cleaner straight through this. So you're going to start at the large end and you're going to work your way down to where the actual uh, firing pin comes out. As you can see, that is actually how the weapon operates right there. Uh, the firing pin enters this way and if this pipe cleaner is acting as the firing pin, it will just touch the primer and out goes the bullet from the barrel so you can clean the inside here uh, that way your firing pin has a nice smooth sound now I'm gonna drop a tiny bit of oil through there and I'm gonna run that pipe cleaner through there one more time see as you can see there's definitely a lot of build up on that uh, pipe cleaner so. and then you're going to always want to run the pipe cleaner the same way so i i've been told that i've never done anything other than that so possibly could go the other way but i don't do that so when i was in the army i had a master sergeant who taught me how to break down m4 and he always told me this is the way you go don't go any other way so that's the way I go. So. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. 
uh, are cleaned up relatively nice. Okay, I'm gonna go on to our firing pin, and I'm actually gonna get a baby wipe. And I'm gonna use that, so. You can just, I mean, you can see the difference immediately. Now you can scrape this, but the metal that this is made with comes off real easy. The carbon comes off real easy with a, just a baby wipe. Tricks of the trade. Okay. And then that right there is your firing pin. So I'm just going to put a very tiny bit of oil on there. Um, we're going to set this off to the side. This is done. Okay. And then I'm going to clean both of my pins here. So I'm going to take that pipe cleaner and I'm going to run it through. Just gonna kind of like it's hanging there on a keychain almost. Clean the inside of that. So, all right, tiny drop of oil. Just gonna rub that all around on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the actual housing of the BCG. And I'm just gonna wipe this down. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to scrub this off, but just get all that that big grime off first. Okay. All right, so wipe that off, and then just take the wire brush, and we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. We're just going to clean this right up. And don't be afraid to give it a little elbow grease. You know, it's um, it's hardened steel. It can definitely take you pushing on it. I mean, it's designed to withstand an explosion. So, all right, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna put a few drops of oil on here. I'm gonna put one where the takedown pin goes. Um, and then just any spot that there might be a moving or functioning part. Oh, okay. And then the last piece is the uh, retaining pin. I'm just gonna clean that up. Okay, now I recommend, as soon as you're done, put this back together. Uh, and it's going to go together the reverse way of which you took it apart. All right. So when you put this back together, on the star cluster here, there is one prod, as you can see, that is shorter than the rest. As you can see, it's up here. All right. So you're going to want to make sure that that prod... I'm going to tell you exactly what position it's going to be in. So it is going to, if you're looking straight down at the, uh, the bolt, actually, let's put it this way. If you're looking 
at the face of the bolt. It is going to be at the uh, 1030 position. Right, and then you're going to insert the larger of the two pins straight in. And you are going to pull it, uh, the star chamber straight out. And then you're going to rotate that pin. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, you're going to drop the firing pin in. Give it a good little snatch. Everything's in there. Take your retaining pin. And come on. Straight through. Okay. So when you go to put it back together, this is how your BCG should look. All right. Then we're going to do the charging handle. Um, really, you only need to get the underside of the charging handle. Um, there's not going to be a lot uh, of grind build up on the top, but you can still get that too. For posterity. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to put two little drops of oil. Actually, just one. I'm going to let it drip down here. Okay. And now we get to the fun part. Uh, the upper receiver. So really the only thing that we actually have to clean is that this part of the upper receiver and then just straight through the barrel. But I'm going to use a uh, boar snake, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. So I recommend a boar snake for any weapon system that has a longer barrel. So, okay. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your wire brush and you're going to get in there and you're really going to scrub. Um, and this is where a lot of your carbon buildup is going to be. And like I said, definitely in the star chamber, it's, it's hard to get in there. Um, but, you know, just, just do your best with working with what you have. So another thing that works great is paper towels. Uh, I love using paper towels and a little bit of gun oil. Uh, that gun oil will stick to that carbon and pull it right out. But the issue with using extensive amounts of gun oil is the next time you go to shoot, your carbon buildup is going to be three times as much. So you just got to be careful in what you're doing. But I love these dental tools because they can really get in there. They can get in the the finer points and the harder to reach areas. So. I'll be up in a minute, love. Oh, I'm being summoned. Oh. Okay, so we're going to call that good for now. And we are going to run the boar snake through just a few times and how you're going to do this is you're just going to drop this straight into the barrel it's got this little metal piece at the bottom that acts as a weight let that run all the way through the barrel wrap it up and just pull straight through and then we're going to Oh wow, not my panda head. We're just gonna do this a few times. Clean that out and then throw it back together. And then get upstairs so that my wife doesn't yell at me anymore. Okay. Actually, one more time should do it. Relatively new snake. Okay. So now we're going to put this back together. How we are going to do that 
is we are going to insert the charging handle and ensure that it goes into those little grooves right there and it'll fall to the very top of the uh, upper receiver. And then you're gonna place your bolt inside the rail in the charging handle and push forward, push everything forward. All right, take your lower receiver. You're just gonna line up your takedown pins. And you're gonna push your takedown pin straight through. Perform a functions check. Safe, doesn't fire. Bolt forward, off safe, fire. Yep, everything is good. Reinsert your magazine. And you're good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. SoCon 3-0 out.